How much growth is priced into NVIDIA stock, stock ticker NVDA? NVIDIA has been on an absolute tear over the past year, up over 260%, and it's currently trading around $867.25 per share. In year to date, they're already up over 75%, and keep in mind, it's only with a few months having already passed by in 2024. So again, how much growth is priced into this stock? Now, keep in mind, typically when we value a stock, we use what is known as a discounted cash flow analysis model. But when you want to know how much growth is priced into a stock, you use what is known as a reverse discounted cash flow model. So let's go ahead and plug in reverse up here. So typically when we value a company, one of the most popular ways to do that is with a discounted cash flow analysis. And basically what that does is it values a company based on how much free cash flow they're going to produce in the future. But with a reverse discounted cash flow analysis, we see how much growth is priced in based on the current trading price of the company. And then we ask ourselves, is that growth rate justified? And keep in mind, like always, all these spreadsheets are available over on tickerdata.com. Now let's go ahead and step back for a moment and look at the free cash flow for NVIDIA over the past decade. We can see in 2015, the company produced around $783 million worth of free cash flow. Jump forward just a few years, 2020, and they were sitting at $4.2 billion in free cash flow. 2023, a little bit of a drop, $3.8 billion in free cash flow. But in their most recent report, they announced $27 billion worth of free cash flow. This was a growth rate of over 600% from their previous period. And like I mentioned, this absolutely skyrocketed their price, and we can see here to date again up over 75%. Now, assuming the company never grew their free cash flow again, we can see with a free cash flow growth rate projection of 0%, the fair value for this company looks like it'd be sitting at about $159.69. Now, the current trading price for the company is sitting at $873.20. So what does this tell us? There's a lot of growth still priced into this company. Now, a very simple way to perform a reverse discounted cash flow analysis to see how much growth is priced in is to just play with the growth rate projection variable. For example, let's say we think there might be 10% price growth into this company. If I plug in 10% and hit enter, we can see the reverse DCF price per share gives us $326.01 and the current trading price sitting at $873.20. So obviously there's a lot more free cash flow growth pricing in this company than just 10% year over year. Let's say we want to bump it up and go all the way up to 15%. I'll plug in 15% and we can see that gives us a reverse DCF price per share of $462. So again, still a lot more price growth end. Let's go all the way up to 20% we can see this would give us a fair value of $652.37. So let's stop right there for a moment. What this is telling us is the market is pricing in more free cash flow growth for this company than 20%. That is massive free cash flow growth. So let's bump it all the way up to 25%. And if we get to 25% for the first time, we can see this puts the reverse DCF price per share at $912, which is above the current trading price for this company. This means there is less than 25% free cash flow growth priced in. So let's go ahead and bump it down just a little bit more to 24%. And we can see we're starting to get very close to seeing how much growth is priced into this company. Let's bump it up just a little bit more. Maybe we'll do 24.25%. And we can see that pretty much puts us right at the current trading price for this company. So essentially with this reverse discounted cash flow analysis, we can see how much growth is priced in. And according to this analysis, analysis, we can see the market is pricing in 24.25% free cash flow growth for Nvidia stock. That's a pretty unbelievable growth rate projection. Now what's really cool about this spreadsheet is if we revert this back to zero, all we have to do to update all these metrics is if we come up here, let's say we want to look at Microsoft, I'll plug in MSFT and hit enter. And you can see all this data is going to load in. We have the free cash flow metrics, we have the cash total debt metrics, we have shares outstanding. All this data automatically loads in and we can see this is due to being able to use the ticker data function. Ticker data is not only where you can download all of my spreadsheets, but you can download my spreadsheet integration tool that allows you to automatically import a company's financials over different periods of time. So again, this is how the spreadsheet has been completely automated. And again with Microsoft, for example, we could see how much growth is priced into the company. If we bump up this free cash flow growth rate to around 10%, we can see we come to a reverse DCF price of 237. If we bump it up to around 18, you can see we get right at the intrinsic value. So it looks like around 18% free cash flow growth is currently priced into Microsoft stock. But there you go, that is how much growth is currently priced into NVIDIA. And that's also how you can simply perform a reverse discounted cash flow analysis. Go ahead in the comments down below and let me know if you think that much growth priced in is fair for NVIDIA. And like always, if you'd like to download any of my spreadsheets and get access to the ticker data extension in Google Sheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.